Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Um, and yes, I am a vlogger. I chat about lots of different things that I think not not necessarily controversial, but they have a little punch to them, I think. Anyway, what am I talking about today? I got a video and this guy was saying, oh, serves Jamie Oliver right um, for copying, um, for trying to take over jerk seasoning and saying it was his own. Some people call it cultural appropriation and he's been accused of all different things. Anyway, what's not so good is that his chain has crashed. Thousands of people have lost their jobs. He's injected over 37 million into the business and he couldn't save it. So it's quite sad. But you know, when I was thinking about this jerk thing, when it first came out, I thought, you know, it's a piss take, really. How the hell can you have jerk rice, jerk ham, egg and chips, jerk this, jerk that, jerk belly button. What's he called it here? This is his range that he had of the jerk. And I think he overdid it, to be honest. Because it's okay if you say, okay, Jay, you know, because he had this um, a theme going on, um, Jamie in Italy. And so he featured a lot of Italian foods. Now, what he should have done is he should have said, Jamie in Jamaica or Jamaican style Jamie or um, Jamie influenced by Jamaica or something like that. But he didn't do that. Or even Jamaica Essex style, something like that. But what he did was jerk ham, jerk pork, jerk lamb, jerk ham hocks, jerk pork belly, jerk ham eggs, ham egg and chips. That's not what jerk is. Jerk is a process. And I think what he thought it was is that he's, he's kind of tried to make his own kind of jerk sauce, a derivative of the original jerk seasoning. And he's kind of made this little um, gimmick. With, that's what it seems like to make it look like it's more or less authentic. He hasn't mentioned Jamaica in there at all, which is why I think some people are calling it cultural appropriation. But he didn't do it right. And, you know, nobody wants people to lose their business. And I doubt very much if it was solely because he did that jerk range. It's probably because the rents of properties are high. People are not eating out as much. You know, I think I think he had about 37 um, restaurants. And I think when people have um, want to go to Jamie Oliver's restaurant, they want to see him there. But if he's got all these restaurants and he's not in attendance at any of them, what is the point? So, um, yeah, apparently he took out a lot of debts and he couldn't pay them all out. I just wanted to make sure um, his, his jerk seasoning was made of marinade with garlic, scotch bonnet, pepper, soy sauce, lime zest, brown sugar and thyme. So that was his own concoction that he made. Um, <clears throat> Dawn Butler MP tweeted to say, TV Jeff Jamie Oliver's new jerk rice is not okay. I mean, that was a real joke, actually. <clears throat> How the hell can you have jerk rice? I mean, to be honest, I don't know what kind of palate he was catering to because it's not like he had he, he had a range called Vindaloo rice. I mean, he was saying he was paying a tribute to Jamaica. But why not do Vindaloo rice and Vindaloo ham, Vindaloo um, ham egg and chips, Vindaloo um, ham hocks? Why wouldn't you do that if that's the case? So I don't really buy his excuse for using that jerk seasoning. I mean, jerk, if you've got a palate for it, is absolutely delicious. I love it. I can eat jerk chicken every single day or jerk pork. I can. Sorry, Rusters, but I can. I can really eat jerk. I just love it. It's hot. It's peppery. It's spicy. It's salty. Everything that's not really good for you, but it tastes delicious. So I can understand why you'd want to jump on the bandwagon but he didn't do it right. I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't um, forgotten anything. Okay, Jamie has worked with flavours and spices from all over the world. 
And he says, I've been doing that for my whole career, learning and drawing inspiration from different countries and cultures to give a fresh twist to the food we eat every day. But he need, but the thing is, that is fine. But call it something else. That's fine. Even if you, even if you said Jamaican infused rice or, you know, Jamaica, yeah, you know, instead of, like it, like I've said it before, he did the Jamaican, he did Jamie in Italy, just do Jamie Jamaican style, or call the um, jerk sauce Jamurk, half Jamie, half jerk, give it your own name, but, you know, like I said, with jerk the whole process of jerk seasoning is that, yes, you have the sauce, which is an integral part of what you're doing, but you're supposed to kind of grill it and it's, you know, it's on on a barbecue grill and it goes undergoes a process and the steam and the smoke and everything is what makes it jerk. You can't do that with rice. So that is why that part of it is an absolute joke. Yes, you can, yes, you can jerk ham hocks and stuff like that. But I think, um, yeah, I think that's why people took a bit of a an affront to it. So, yeah, I'm not happy that, you know, his business has gone down the pan. Nobody wants to see that. But um, I think some people, they over, um, they're overzealous and they try to do too much. And I think he expanded probably too much too quickly. Um, let me see what else. Oh, yeah. Um, MP Neil O'Brien wrote, if Jamie Oliver isn't allowed to make jerk chick chicken because it's cultural appropriation, she's going to go mad when she finds out about Jamie's Italy. But that's what I mean. Jamie's Italy is totally different. Why not call it Jamie's Jamaica? Then people wouldn't have had a problem with it. It's a jerk, jerk, jerk thing every five minutes against everything. Regina Holland wrote, there is no such thing as jerk rice apart from what Jamie Oliver has concocted. That's her point. Anybody from any nationality can eat anything they want. There are just some dishes that are best left alone and enjoyed how they're supposed to be made. And like somebody else said, jerk rice is not a tribute because Jamaicans would never cook it. So for those who think it is, are talking out of their butts. Levi Roots, reggae reggae sauce, said um, it was a mistake. The product was a mistake using that jerk. But like I said, I don't think it's got anything to do with the jerk seasoning. I think it's the, the what's happening. People... You know, using Deliveroo, um, Just Eat, people are eating in. People, you know, the people who might want to pay for Jamie Oliver's prices, they're probably not even bothering, or they might go there once, but it's not like they're going to go there every week, and you're not going to get enough people in there to build up the business. So like I said, you've got the high rents, you've got, you know, the change in the market demand. You know, people are eating in more and stuff like that. Wages, you know, you've got the national um, minimum wage has gone up. You've got, so you've got the labour costs, you've got utility costs. It all mounts up. And when you've got lots of, lots of them, you can imagine, you just can't keep it up. So yeah, jerk, jerk didn't do you any favours, using jerk didn't do you any favours, but I don't think it was your demise, Jamie. So I'm sure you'll get up there back. I think you're worth 150 million, so 37 million out of that loss isn't too bad and I'm sure you'll come up with something else and that's all for now. Bye-bye.